Hello, this is Kurt Gowdy Shark Hunting, and today I'm going to do a uh, product review for uh, Cajun Line Red Lightning uh, from the Zebco brand. Zebco really isn't that great of a fishing reel brand, but I do like their Cajun Line. It works really well. Um, it handles pretty well. It's pretty abrasion resistant, too. I found that out. Um, it's sort of low on memory. It's not that low, but it is just it's not going to curl up something like Andy line or whatever it's not going to curl up like that it's not going to do that but uh it works pretty well i like the way it handles um it's uh got that red tint to it which is kind of weird i mean there's a lot not a lot of people that really like the red i mean a lot of people if they're looking for high vis lines um, they go with yellow, which sometimes yellow lines can, down south especially, can be hit by kingfish and uh, Spanish mackerel. That's really, I mean, if you got to bait out over 100 yards, I would recommend not going with uh, yellow lines. But this stuff disappears in water pretty quickly, so I guess it would be pretty good. It doesn't, it's not very bright. It gives you visual with contact when it gets out of the water but when it goes into the water in about three feet it will disappear so it works pretty well um on a scale from one to ten i'd probably give this stuff a six six and a half it is very abrasion resistant but the mono it's not that i mean it's the mono is not very uh low memory it's not anything like Stren Original. Stren Original is extremely low memory, probably the lowest to memory of any line. And uh, my favorite monofilament is either Trilene or Stren Original Clear Blue. And uh, so uh, if you guys want me to do a review on um, any products, if you're looking for, if you're going to ask me about a rod to do a review on, that's going to be something that I'm going to have to take in moderation because I'm not going to go off and spend 150 bucks on a rod that I don't even need to do a review on it. If I think about the rod and I really actually want the rod, then if you give me a suggestion about a rod to buy, I, I'll go and check out the rod, and if I it's something I need to have, then I'll buy it, and then I'll most, most certainly will do a review on it. But uh, anything like fishing lines, whatever, if you want me to do a view on something like Su Suffolk Siege or Suffolk Elite. I'll do that. I'll go out and buy some fishing line and do reviews on it. Anything like lures, if you want me to go out, go out and do a review on lures, that's fine. I'll do that. But uh, just nothing really big and expensive. I mean, you can ask me still, but don't expect to get a review out of me if, just because you ask me. So, uh, subscribe and uh, like, please. And, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.